Dave. You look like you've seen a ghost. I can't believe it. <laughs> That's me, all right, in the flesh. I know, but I just... I've been wanting to come see you, Kate, ever since I heard you were in town. Tonight, I got up enough nerve. Uh, there's a lot I want to talk to you about. I hope I didn't come at a bad time. No, no. May I come in? How rude of me. Please come in. You remember Lee Carruthers, don't you, Dave? Lee, this is Dave. Oh, yeah, of course, Dave. How are you? Good to see you. Uh, we saw each other over at the club now and again, didn't we? Yes, we did. Quite a while. <laughs> uh, how you doing? Real fine, thank you, real fine. Uh, look, would you like to sit down? Oh, no, thank you. I don't want to interrupt anything. Oh, no, 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 don't be silly, please. Well, actually, uh, Kate and I do have a dinner reservation, but I, I think that's at least Another hour or so. I mean, I could... How about a drink? <laughs> There's soft drinks. Tomato juice, coffee, whatever you like. I, I'd be happy to get you something. No, thank you. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, I'm going to get some ice from the kitchen. Um, certainly. <laughs> I've been on the wagon for a long time. Yes, I know. Stacy told me I... I'm glad. I, uh... I know I should have called first, Oh, don't Kate, worry but... about it. It's perfectly all right. If you had come a little sooner, you might have been able to see Amber. Well, maybe it's best that I didn't. We saw each other a while back at the Greenbrier. Yes, I recollect her telling me about it. <laughs> well, you know our daughter. She's never been one to mask her feelings. <laughs> yes, that day was no exception. She made me feel about as welcome as the bubonic plague. <laughs> Did you know I tried to find you in Ohio? No. No, I didn't. Well, listen, are you sure I can't get either one of you anything? Oh, no thanks. Look, there's a lot I want to talk to you about, but this is obviously the wrong time. I'd really better be going. Well, you just uh, got here. Uh, yes, well, uh, I'll come again when, when you're not so busy. Uh, uh, Lee is running for Congress this June. The seat vacated by Bob Oliver. Yes, I read about that in the paper. Uh, Congratulations, Lee. I'm sure you'll do well. I, uh, I'm helping him out. Oh, darling, that's, that's putting you very mildly. No, if it weren't for Kate, I wouldn't be in this race. She's my inspiration. Yes, well, Kate always did have a passion for politics. Uh, we've been working on some fundraising strategies together. Not tonight, darling, please, remember? We said no more shop talk after 6 o'clock. I gotta get a rest from this sometime, you know what I mean? <laughs> sure. Well, in any case, I should be on my way. All right, Dave, good seeing you again. Hey. You're looking great. Yeah, nice to see you. Kate, uh, some other time, perhaps? Yes. Please call me. I'll do that. Good night. Sorry. Sorry? Oh, I don't know. What could I say? Why did he have to come here like that? Maybe he doesn't have a phone. Oh, come on. You know what I meant. Well, it was a chance he took. You. You were no help. What do you mean, me? I, I, I was as polite as I possibly could be. Yeah, you were too polite. Well, darling, I was just trying to make the most of a very awkward situation for everybody involved. I know, but did you have to make it sound like we were... Like what? Oh, never mind. Like we're more than just friends? Well, it's true, isn't it? We are. I mean, w would you want me to make it seem otherwise? Huh?
Nancy stopped by the hospital this morning. Oh, yeah? What's she trying to pull now? Well, nothing yet. She just came by to tell me that she'd moved everything she owned out of Mother's house. Well, that's a good sign. I don't think that that was her intention. I think she dropped by to let me know how miserable she thought that I'd made her. Oh, I see. It's all your fault, huh? None of her actions had anything to do with it. Exactly. Yeah, leave it to Nancy. Anybody else would leave the house and just let the matter drop, but not her. She just doesn't know when to quit. You know, I have to admit, though, that despite all her cutting remarks, I could tell she was really hurting. Of course she's hurting. Look, Terry, the woman has spent all of her life trying to take things that don't belong to her. This time, she didn't get away with it. No, I think that there is something more to it than that. Mother's house really did mean a lot to her. Don't tell me you're feeling sorry for her again. Terry, look. Terry, please don't fall into that trap again. Peter tells me that she's living with Vicki Lang for the time being, but I can't help but wonder what she's going to do next. I guess she'll get her own place when she gets her hands on that money. Well, as you know, that's why I instigated this action. I mean, with the sale of the house, she can pay off all her debts and start a whole new life all over again. At least, I hope that that's what she'll do. But I don't know, she was so bitter this afternoon at the hospital. Isn't she always? Yeah, I guess so, but I just hope she hasn't backed herself into a corner. Don't worry about Nancy. She's a survivor. Now, she's been down on her luck before, but unfortunately for the rest of us, somehow she always manages to bounce back. Yeah, she sure does. Which reminds me, did she give you the keys to the house? No. Should she have? Well, if she's moved all of her personal belongings out. Well, maybe she was planning to give them to you. I mean, to make it all legal. Yeah, maybe. Well, I don't know. Knowing the state of Nancy's mind, that house might prove to be too much of a temptation. I know how her envious mind works. If I can't have it, why should anybody else? You don't really think she'd go that far, do you? All I'm saying is that if she's got the keys, she's got access to the house. Who knows what she'll do? Yeah, but well, that house means so much to her. Well, I hope you're right. You know we lawyers are just paid to worry anyway. Do you think there's anything you can do about getting the keys? Well, at this particular point in time, no. But I would sure feel a whole lot better if I had them. Rats. I can't find those shoes. I, I know I saw them here somewhere. Now what are you doing? You know those gold and leather pumps that I wore New Year's Eve? I can't find them anywhere. Nancy, why don't you keep all your shoes in one box? I did. Except for this one pair. Brother. Look at this mess. I can't believe any one person could accumulate so much junk. Vicki, this is all that I own in the whole world. Can't you throw some of your world out? I told you, Vicky, just as soon as I get settled, I'll put a couple of boxes together and have a yard sale. <sighs> Not in my yard, if you don't mind. Vicky, will you just lay off? I don't like living this way any more than you do. Maybe I'll give them to charity. You know, I could probably get a tax write-off that way. All I'm asking is that you just clear some of this stuff away. You can hardly walk around in here anymore. Vicky, will you just cool it? You know, as soon as my mother's house sells, I will be moving out. Believe me, I don't want to live here a minute longer than I have to. Nancy, if you're trying to make me feel guilty, it's not working. I'm just stating the facts. <sighs> look, I know this is hard on you, but look at this mess. <sighs> Brad's coming over later, and I really Brad? wanted everything. When did he come back on the scene? Well, we still see one another every once in a while. <laughs> it's no big deal. What happened? Did you get tired of babysitting for Peter? Very funny. Like I said, I'm just stating the facts. Look, Nancy, Brad's gonna be here any minute and I have to go get ready. Just do me a favor and clean up some of your mess, would you please? Yeah, sure, sure. Just as soon as I find my shoes. <laughs> I follow you. Well, uh, what I'm saying is that, uh, for the time being anyway, both you and Nancy are still legally co-owners of the house. Oh, so she has as much right to have access to the house as I do. Yeah, just exactly. Legally, you can both keep your keys right up until the time of the auction and the uh, sale closing, too. Fortunately, the whole thing will be over with for too long. Yeah, and that is going to be a relief. 
Harold, I can't thank you enough for all your help with this. Oh, I think nothing of it. I'm glad to help. If you have any more trouble with Nancy, give me a yell. It's a shame we always expect that sort of thing from her, isn't it? Yeah, but uh, we can't forget about her past track record either. As a matter of fact, I think I'd better have a word with that girl about those keys. But I thought you just said that Nancy was completely within her rights to keep her keys until the house is sold. You know that? I know that. Whether or not Nancy is cognizant of that insignificant little legal fact. What do you mean? Terry, I just think it'd be best for everybody concerned. Now, when I say everybody, I mean Nancy, too. If she just didn't have access to the house. Well, I don't know. Don't you worry about a thing. I'll take care of it. But I want you to stay within the limits of the law. Now, did I say anything at all about that? <laughs> I gotta go. I'll, uh, I'll get in touch with you. Bye-bye. Good night. Remember me? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Vicky here? Yeah, sure. Come on in. She's just fixing her face, so it's going to be a little while. You know, I don't know why it takes some women such a long time to fix themselves up. You know, they're not happy with what nature gave them. Mm. <laughs> well, you might as well make yourself comfortable, okay? Oh, uh, uh, no, that's okay. That's okay. I've been sitting all day. Oh, really? What, what do you do? I'm a computer programmer. Oh. Oh, that's fascinating. I never would have paid you for the intellectual time. Well, I wouldn't say computer work is intellectual. Oh, come on. You must be being modest now. I'm sure you must be brilliant to do work like that. It's, I don't know. It's, it's something I've always wanted to know about. I, I don't know anything about computers. Uh, why don't you tell me about it sometime? How do they work? How, how do computers work? Yeah, well, you know, I'm a great listener. I'd love to hear it sometime. I'm afraid an explanation of how computers work would take a little longer than uh, we have. I don't know. Under the right circumstances, I wouldn't care how long it took. Hello, Brad. Oh, Vicky. <laughs> Sorry, I was running a little late. Uh, you've met Nancy, haven't you? That night at the castaway. Yeah. <sighs> As you can see, Nancy's living here temporarily. Well, it's just until I sell my house that I'm getting my own place. <sighs> well, what do you say we get out of here, Brad, huh? So where are you two off to tonight? Still up for some dancing? Well, I don't know. Let's go get a bite to eat first, and we'll talk about it then. You know, I hear there's a great band playing at Billy Kay's. I bet you must be a fantastic dancer. I, I'm going to go there myself after I go by the castaway, see what's, what's cooking. All I can say, Nancy, is uh, I hope you have a good time. I know I'm going to. Yes, I'll have the steak bayonnaise, medium rare, and the salad with Roquefort dressing. And would you care for uh, potatoes, Anna, or asparagus gratinée? Yes, both. <laughs> well, even though I know they're both full of cholesterol, tonight who cares? <laughs> I'll have the same thing. Yes, sir. Oh, and now, uh, do you still serve oysters bienville? Yes, would you like some? Ah, yes, I believe I would. Thank you. And you, sir? Uh, no, thank you. Uh, I think that'll be all. Very well, sir. Oh, Daddy, I can't tell you how wonderful it feels just to be free again. <laughs> and you know what? I wanted to order every single thing on that menu. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should have. <laughs> you know, ma'am, I don't think I've ever seen you look as beautiful as you do tonight. It's hard to believe that only a few days ago... No, 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 now. We're going to try very hard not to talk about that. That's all over. And I am going to do my very best to take the best of care of you. I simply won't risk uh, putting you through an ordeal like that again. I hardly think that uh, I would be a candidate for being kidnapped twice. Oh, Mim, as long as you are my daughter, you will always be a candidate for something like that. And so will Eric, which means that you've got to take precautions. 
precautions, what? Well, you and I both know that uh, this wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been with those people, the, uh, Daddy, the Redlands. Daddy, no, come on. Mim, now it's the truth. That's a dreadful neighborhood. But Daddy, it was a mistake. We know that the kidnappers were after Babs, not me. We know that now. Mim, I still say that if you had been where you belonged, this wouldn't have happened, and I rest my case on that. I, I realize, I do, that, that this has been a very upsetting experience for you, but I do wish you would just realize that the Redlands are no more responsible for what happened to me than I am. And I love my own. She's, she's probably the most wonderful person in the whole world. Yes, yes, yes. That may be all very well and good, but factually speaking, uh, well, the Redlands just aren't our type of people. Oh, our type of people. Daddy, just what is our type of people? Oh, Mim, you can't be that naive. Now, surely Daddy, you can see Daddy, through no, those no, people. Now, don't, I know what's coming. Don't get upset. You remember your heart and everything. My heart is fine. May I remind you, it wasn't easy uh, negotiating with those kidnappers. And if I can live through that, I can live through anything. I know, but I just, I just don't think it's good for you to get so agitated like this. Well, maybe I wouldn't if you'd listen to me once in a Daddy, while. no, come no, on. No, Mim, no. Now, I want you to promise me that you will not go into that neighborhood where the Redlands live again. Daddy, you're forcing me into a very difficult decision. And I appreciate everything you've done for me. And your love and your concern, but I, I just can't promise. And Mim, that whole neighborhood is just riddled with crime. It isn't safe. Now, if you love me, and if my health means as much to you as you say it does, you will promise me that you won't go there ever again. Friend, what'll it be? Well, uh, what do you have? Uh, ginger ale. No, make that a scotch, a double. Pretty busy here. Well, nobody likes to drink alone. I guess not. You new around here? No, no, just one of those nights when I couldn't face those same four walls again. Yeah, kind of gets to you after a while, huh? Yeah. Well, here you go. You look like you could use it. Thank you. Nancy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, at last. Mm. Well, at least this doesn't have any cholesterol in it. <laughs> well, just wait till we get to everything else. <laughs> yeah. Um, Daddy, back to the other. The Redlands are my friends. And I mean, you have to realize, what about Gene? He, he risked his life just to help me? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for his help. Mim, that's very commendable, wait, but I... I know, I know. How about a compromise? Such as? Well, like, I would promise that I would always go with someone when I go to visit now, the Reverend. Mim, I really don't think that that's going to work at Daddy, all. Daddy, take it or leave it. Because I will not abandon my friends just because you might be worrying about me. I couldn't do that. I, I just couldn't. So what do you say? I'll take it. Well, I still say it was good that I was there when Dave came over. Well, I'm not sure, Lee. He's got to know about us sooner or later. He's got to know the truth. Why not get it out in the open right from the start? I suppose, but I could tell that he wanted to talk to me alone. Must have taken a great deal of courage for him to come to me like that. Well, why didn't you ask me to leave? I would have been glad to leave. <laughs> I don't know. I do know. Because your feelings for me are stronger than they are for Dave. Two for dinner, Mr. Crothers? That's right, yeah. Thank Just right, Lee. Forget about the past, Kate. Look at your life now. Look at our lives now. Thanks. Thank you. Dave is a part of your past. It'd be better for you to just leave it that way. It'd be better for you. It'd be better for the girls. Ah, now you sound like Amber. Well, I think she's got a good point. I know. 
And I can still see the pained look in Dave's face. Well, what would have happened if I hadn't have been there? I don't know. How can I say? All right, Kate, let me ask you something. Do you think that you have a future with Dave? A future? I wasn't thinking about the future. I was thinking about a man that I was married to for years. A man I love very much. The Dave I saw tonight reminded me of that man. Oh, Lee, I am so confused. I understand that, Kate, but the confusion will go away if you just let it. How? How will it, Lee? I divorced a man over four years ago because he was a disgrace to me, to his family, and to himself. Suddenly he pops up and he's different. And I was reacting to him like he was the same man, but he's not. He's changed, Lee. I could see it in his face. Well, I stopped by the clinic today, but that Mrs. Redland said that you'd gone to see your wife or some such nonsense. Yes, I did. Uh, my ex-wife, you mean. Well, if I knew you were going to be free, I would have given you a call. I'd much rather see you here than at that clinic. Where's Ernie? Ernie? Uh, you know the bartender? Um, what are you drinking? Nothing yet. Oh, come on. Don't let me get in your way. Here, have a drink. That's what you came here for, oh, isn't it? It's all right, it? Nancy. Well, what is it? It's scotch. Uh, do you mind? Not at all. Wow, that's pretty strong medicine there, isn't it, Doctor? A couple of those under your belt and you'd really be having dizzy spells. But then I bet a man like you could handle it. <laughs>